Hi world, this is Chatty Daddy One here coming at you. Um, I want to make a. I want to do a. Say a few things. Um, it's real troubling to hear all of the hatred against the white man cracker and all that. Um, from the black people. Um, you know. I ain't never done anything wrong to my friends who are black. I have many friends that are black. Um, lately, though, I've seen a lot of tension, a lot of negative looks. I mean, people are acting, I don't want to say hostile, but they ain't being polite, you know? And I ain't done nothing. I ain't done nothing to them. Um, I want to let you know. Let's keep focus of what's going on here. Okay. This whole Zimmerman Martin thing is a deterrent to try to get the attention off of the 1% try to get the 99% fighting in a civil war so they can come in with their martial law and throw us all into a FEMA camp. Please, I beg of you, don't, don't feed in, don't let them get you on this. Y'all are smarter than that. Please don't feed into this. It's, you know, this is not the situation. Um, it's not blacks against whites. It's the daggum government, the elite, against everybody, the rest of us, who are poor and who are middle class and shrinking because they don't want no middle class. They want the rich and the poor. So they can control the poor with food, with medicine, with medical, and all that kind of stuff. So please, you know, I have nothing against anyone who treats me with respect and who gives me the same respect I give them. I'm going to respect you. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't care. I don't judge a book by its cover. But I'm also not going to freaking lay down if I'm assaulted. And I don't think many other people will either. Let's not let this happen. This, don't let this happen, y'all. Um, the other day I went down to a friend of mine's house and and he's black, and man, I could tell, I could tell there was a uncomfortable thing there between us, big time. I mean, I've never felt this before with him. And I think, personally, he was thinking, man, I hope he doesn't think that I'm playing into this. And I'm thinking, man, I hope he doesn't think that I'm playing into this. And I think it was both of us thinking the same thing, you know, still respecting one another, but in fear that the other one might be buying into this crap and, and starting to not like the other one. And that's bull crap, you know, bull crap. Don't let it happen because that's exactly what they're trying to do. And it, it makes me sad to uh, hear the Black Panther Party say that they want blood in the streets and that people say they want to cross the Red Sea and they're not talking about the, the water sea, they're talking about blood and uh, talking about killing honkies and killing the white man and the cracker and all that kind of stuff. Man, that ain't cool, you know. We ain't done nothing to you. I know I haven't. I know 
people I grew up with haven't. And anybody that I've ever been around, if they were being racist and jerks, I, I told them I didn't want to hang out with them because that ain't cool. I've told people before that ain't cool, man. Uh, you know I don't appreciate that, and uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna friggin' put up with it. You know, I don't hang out with people like that, and most of the people I know aren't like that. You know, we're all here in the same boat. Okay, it, it sucks to hear Florida should be on fire. Uh, I'll beg your pardon? Why should Florida be on fire? Because of this two guys that, you know, had a scuffle and one of them got shot? Well, what about the friggin' white guy that got, um beat up he was drunk and this is on youtube he got freaking beat up and they stripped the clothes off of him and the freaking guy came and clocked him and pow and they're all laughing and stuff like that man i mean that's just unbelievable unbelievable you know unreal and man it just it, it hurts my hurts my heart to think that we're resulting to this. Don't let it happen, y'all. Don't let it happen. Tell your friends that you're not buying into this stuff. You know, tell each other, we're in this together, and we are. We're going to be there to hold the line. I'm going to be right there to hold the line with my black friend right there next to me. You know, and we just can't let them do this to us. They're trying to break us apart, divide and conquer. They know how the rule book of war goes. Divide and conquer. Because united, black, white, all the poor, Hispanic, Chinese, whatever, American Indian, Native American, I should say, united we stand, and we can win, we can conquer, united, but divided, we ain't got a prayer, man, we ain't got a prayer, because we won't be in the right, and God won't be with us, he won't be on our side, especially if we have hatred towards our, our fellow man, and uh, please don't fall into it, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to love my friends and neighbors as much as I can, but I will say this, I will not go peacefully into that good night. I will not go as a lamb to the slaughter. I will defend myself. I don't want to, but I will, and I will protect my family. But I don't want to do that, man. Not against my friends. I don't want to do that even against... You know, the the man coming in to come and take our rights and to take our firearms and stuff like that. I don't want that to happen. And um, I want to show y'all my uh, my um, plinker of choice. This is this is my little baby here. I know some of y'all have been uh, showing your little toys and stuff like that but this is this is mine thirty round clip show it collapsible folding stock 22 long rifle. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong, baby. Got me a suppressor on the end of it.
easy as one, two, three. But um, personally, that's what I like myself. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if they come to ask for it, I'll give, I'll give it up. But this is mainly used for squirrels and hunting and stuff like that. I don't always hit my target, so I need plenty of backup rounds. But yeah, your 22 is, is excellent. Excellent. And uh, Ruger, by the way, that's a Ruger 10-22. And they have pretty much the most, um, you can buy accessories for a Ruger 10-22, probably more than any other 22. I mean, they have 50 round clips, too. And uh, you can fire it. I've never had a problem with it. I've probably fired 5,000 rounds out of it. And, you know, I clean it every now and again, but it's never, never failed me. Um, and I don't plan on it too. I'll keep it old, clean, and in good condition. But that's that's one of my favorites. I like it. Anyway, God bless. Good luck to us all. And let's love one another. Let's not let them divide us and conquer us. We need each other for these times coming up. Because they're going to be tough. And it's going to get hard. We don't need to be fighting each other. We're going to need to watch each other's back. So, you know, love to all. Help one another. Tell each other you're not buying into their crap. Anyway, God bless. Good luck. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.